Hey folks, this is Ryan from ORS Cross Country Skis Direct. Yeah, guy on the other end of the phone when you call, and uh, here I am in front of the video uh, camera to tell you about a category that uh, we, 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 we lightly represent. Uh, you know, we, we do a lot of family touring, a lot of backcountry. Those are our two big uh, categories that we really uh, go deep in. Um, but you know, some people are into race and performance uh, on groomed surfaces. And, um, you know, we're a Nordic company, and we certainly want to represent that to some extent. So here is what we have to offer. Um, you know, in, in, a, in a sort of race performance, uh, skate is kind of our, you know, more uh, represented category. We have a couple of packages uh, that we have for the skating skier. Um, as far as your classic race skier, that is the one category that we just don't go very deep in. Um, it's a great thing to do, um, but, uh, you know... Uh, we have a few items, but not, not the whole spectrum as we do with the backcountry and touring. So, but let me show you what we do have, okay? Maybe uh, you like what you see. Um, starting with uh, sort of performance touring center type stuff. Skate. Let's talk about skate. We have two nice skate skis. The Fisher SC Skate and the Fisher SCS Skate. Um, both of these are uh, available in packages that we have on our site. And basically, uh, the SC is a wood core with an air channel, air channel wood core, so it's a heavier ski. Um, it just isn't as uh, racy, as lightweight. Um, and there's some other things, certainly the base and uh, construction that you know keeps the price down, puts it in a more recreational use category. But it's a great ski for your you know starting skate skier, the kind of person who goes to the touring center on their touring skis and sees these guys zipping by in a skate technique and wants to try it out. The SC is a great choice. Also maybe for like a high school racer kind of thing. Um, or your fitness gear. So it's a good price, the Fisher SC Skate. The SCS is actually a lot of ski. This has got a Fisher's Air Core. It's really, really lightweight. Um, and it's got a premium stone grind finish on the base. Uh, this is for, and you can see the pattern. I don't know if you can on the cam on the video camera mm -hmm. there on the YouTubes. <laughs> but uh, there's a structure uh, from the factory cut into the base to help to reduce suction on the snow and give it better glide. Uh, light and fast, this is really, I mean, there are certainly higher end models in the Fisher line, but this is about 80 to 90% of what those are. Um, this is a really, really great, great ski. Good for your high school racer, your college racer, or your just, you know, performance oriented skate skier who wants a nice, light, fast race ski. There it is, the Fisher SCS Skate. And again, this is available in our premium skate package. As far as let me just go to the skate boot here, and then I'll switch into more of the classic technique. We really just have one. And, you know, last year we had two options for, for skate boots. Um, this year we stuck with just the RC5 from Fisher. Uh, it's, it's the second tier boot. There is a RC3. Uh, it's not that much less expensive. And honestly, I feel when it comes to skating, you've got to have a good boot. And so this boot is appropriate in both of the packages, the more recreational with the SC ski and the performance uh, SCS package. But articulating cuff has got a power strap, lace cover, and um, a true classic skate sole. So there's no flex built into the outsole for the classic technique. Uh, skating is all about sort of stepping, alternating your feet from one to the other. You need a lot of lateral stiffness. You don't need a sole that flexes. So it's a stiff uh, skate sole, and it's a, really a no compromise skate boot at a, at a decent price. Uh, I don't feel you it's worth saving 20 bucks to get a, you know the boot down the line. So we have one skate boot, one good skate boot to offer for both of our skate packages. So um, by the way, we also do carry uh, Solomon skate boots. Um, there's a lot of them, and our site shows them all. So, and if you're looking for a Solomon skate boot, generally you know what you're looking for, so you'll find it. But for what we kind of really stock uh, heavily and put in packages, we go with the NNN Sole Fisher SCS uh, ski and the RC5 boot. All right. Uh, now, <clears throat> classic. We do offer one uh, performance classic ski. This is the SCS Classic. I mean, it looks exactly like the uh, SCS Skate, <laughs> but it's a classic ski. So the flex is a lot different. It's going to be sized a lot longer. Um, but, uh, you know, this is a performance classic race type ski. You're going to obviously wax it, um, and you're going to go to a touring center in a track, kick and glide, and have a great day. Um, 
you know, you could certainly go on a snowmobile trail with this kind of ski, but really this is really mainly designed for in-track touring center type stuff. Um, you know exactly what we're talking about. But it's the SES nonetheless, nice lightweight air core, uh, nice stone grind finish on that base. I mean, this is a fast, light, really, really great ski, the SCS Classic. We do not do a classic race boot, but we do touring uh, boots, which work perfectly fine for classic skiing. I mean, that's what, what you're doing. Uh, they're just not, you know, low cut, really lightweight, racy, but we do have the um, Alpina T20 Plus and the Eve T20 Plus, and we have the Rosignol X5 FW and the X5. So basically the men's, women's men's, women's version of each of those boots. Uh, these are great, just comfortable touring uh, boots for classic skiing. Um, you know, you wouldn't always see those boots on this ski here, um, but you could certainly do it. Um, so there's the one classic race ski that we sell. Uh, and then for touring, we also sell, I mean, obviously we sell recreational touring skis, but I, I showed these in this sport race category because these are traditional length classic skis. Um, the rest of the skis that we sell in the touring category are compact. You don't necessarily consider those race or um, performance, uh, more, you know, recreational and that kind of thing. So these being a traditional length kind of stand apart. Um, some people still like a, you know, traditional length ski, so their size a lot longer than the modern compact skis for better glide. Uh, they don't have as much side cut, so they're really for straight line, you know, certainly enough track. Um, but also great on a snowmobile trail and that kind of thing. And we all, and we offer the Country Crown, which has the waxless base pattern, so you don't have to worry about kick wax. Um, but we also offer the waxable. Um, so here's a nice waxable classic touring ski uh, that's a little bit wider for more stability and, and maybe a little bit of out of the touring center type stuff. As far as wax goes, by the way, we carry pretty much the entire line of Swix waxes. Um, you know, <laughs> I, if I tried to do a video going through the uh, line of Swix waxes, whew, it would take all day and all night. So um, look at our website, ORS Cross Country Skis Direct, and you'll see that we represent pretty much the entire uh, line of Swix waxes and tools. We have you know, waxing tables, as you can see here. Uh, we have vices. Got all sorts of good stuff. Now, lastly, uh, well, we have poles. Let's look at poles real quick. Um, in the package that we offer, we offer the, um, the CT7 or the Alu uh, light pole from Swix. It's an aluminum, tapered aluminum pole with a nice, comfortable power strap, they call it, or the pro strap, I'm sorry. Um, gives you a nice, you know, real secure hold on the pole. Um, if you want to upgrade, and we offer it in the more performance oriented skate package. This is the, uh, this is actually the CT4 pole. I grabbed the wrong one. The CT5 pole. Well, <laughs> where is it? Oh, here it is. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Well, I'll show you this pole anyway. Uh, and, and it continues up the line. We actually carry the CT3, the CT2, and the CT1, uh, really high end performance carbon pole. But here's the CT5. This is, um, the one that we offer in our performance skate package. Um, it has some carbon rather than just aluminum, it's a carbon and glass mix. Uh, so it's much lighter weight. And then the CT4, you get more carbon. And as you move up the line, you eventually get all carbon. Um, you know, having a nice pole is really amazing. It's hard to, to describe, you gotta just feel it. Um, if you're a paddler, then you know what it's about having a nice paddle. If you're a golfer, you know it's like to have a more lighter weight, nicer performance golf club. It's the same thing. You got them in your hands, you're moving them around a lot. So a nice lightweight pole is just worth considering as an upgrade rather than just a clunky old, you know, fiberglass uh, straight shaft pole. All right. Then we got bindings. Uh, what do we have? Well, let's see. We've got the, uh, this is the R3 classic binding. Um, this is an NN classic binding that you can drill onto a ski. So this is the one that you would put on the country crown and the country wax for your N&N &N boot. Uh, obviously you can put an s, s binding on there if you wanted to. If you have a Solomon boot, we've got Solomon bindings as well. Um, but uh, this does not have the NIS plate, the NIS plate that comes now mounted on a lot of skis these days. This plate is where the binding will attach. So in the old days you would screw and glue as we would call it. And now we have a bonded NIS plate that the binding actually slides and clicks onto. So there's no screw, no glue, no drilling. And for bindings in this category, um, we have two options. We've got the exercise skate binding. And again, it just slides on and clicks into place. Uh, this is the sort of more, you know, recreational uh, duty uh, skate binding that you'll find in the basic skate package. But then in the performance package, we've got this thing, man. This is the beauty, the accelerator. So light, it's just like 
It weighs nothing. And it's sleek and elegant. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. Um, and it's racy. So this looks really, really nice on the uh, SCS skate ski locked onto that NIS plate or NIS plate. Um, and uh, then, of course, we have the NIS, I'm um, sorry, the Accelerator Classic. So looks a lot alike, only it has a softer uh, flex flexor for the classic technique. All right. So there you go. Um, again, you know, we, we certainly have some great choices. If you like to go to the groom surface performance oriented skier that you are, um, we've got some stuff for you. So hopefully this helps kind of narrow your selection down of what we have. Um, thanks for watching folks. My name is Ryan from ORS Cross Country Skis Direct.